Hi, hope you're having a good day. I wanted to start a series of thoughts, thought-provoking lessons on the names of Jesus Christ. And hopefully this will be a moment of meditation for you as you start your day or finish your day thinking on godly things. Let's begin with the letter A, Jesus is our advocate. We find in 1 John chapter 2, My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you will not sin. But if any of you do sin, we have an advocate with the Father, which is Jesus Christ, the righteous. Our Lord is right by our side, trying to bear our burdens. He's our helper, our comforter, our friend to everyone who seeks him. Sadly, there's a lot of people in this world who live their life without such a friend to help them. The word advocate in second John in first John chapter two is the word parakletos in the original language, paraclete. And it means one who consoles, one who comforts, one who encourages, uplifts, refreshes. He's the one who intercedes for us. He's an advocate like one who would bear our case for us in court. You know, the old devil has been building a case against every one of us based upon Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Then in Romans chapter 6, he tells us that the wages of sin is death and we sure don't want to be paid for what we deserve. In Isaiah chapter 59, verses 1 and 2, we find out that our sin has separated us from God. There's this gulf fixed between us and God to where he will not reach us. We want to remove that, and Jesus, as our advocate, does that for us. Based not upon our goodness, but based upon his own goodness. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21, we find that the one who knew no sin, God made to be sin, that we might become his righteousness in him, through him. I love that thought. Jesus made the payment for our sins, became the propitiation for our sins by paying with his own blood, Colossians chapter 1 and verse 20. Our loving advocate paid the price for us not to go to hell with his own precious blood. Let me read for you from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. Knowing that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your forefathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb slain without blemish or spot. I hope you'll think about these things today. The great advocate, Jesus Christ. He's our friend. He's our advocate. God bless you. Have a great day.